Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. You're watching me solve this problem live during a contest. I'm going to start the explanation and then it's going to go into some code review sometimes and then just me working on the problem. Let me know what you think about this format. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on the Discord link below, and I will start now. Q2, making file names unique. So this one, the tricky part is that there are a couple of edge cases. And the second trickiest part is that the n is 5 times 10 to the 4th. And what that means is that you cannot do a quadratic time algorithm, meaning no n square. You have to do an O of n or n log n, depending on what language you're in, and that's it. Um, so the idea, um, and I actually got this uh, wrong the first time, but the idea is that um, you first... Yeah, if, if you look at the name, and if the name, you haven't seen it before, then it's good. You just, And then you keep track of the, that you, you, if you use it again, you have to watch it again, right? Uh, and then later, if you do see the name, then you look at the counter that it was previously incremented by one, so that the next time you see the name, it will be plus one. And then you just keep on looking that way. And, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, you just increment it um, and then just check to see if it's in it. If it's not, then, and this should, I think this should always be okay. Otherwise, it just add a few times. Uh, but this already makes it, li this in theory could still be n square ish, um, but it it's fast enough. Um, yeah, so that's Q2, but just keeping track of the previous one. And here we can actually even, and we should have keep track of the previous one as well. Um, but, but yeah, actually, I don't know why I did it this way because if I think I just kind of did it really. So how, how I would do it again is that if this is the case, then I would do counter is you go to previous name, uh, and then just do something like the same thing as before. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, previous plus one, uh, and and then just keep going, right? So if you do something like that, you'll get down to linear time. The space is also going to be linear be, uh, because you have one entry in the previous for each uh, string. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty hard for Q2. Um, but on an interview problem, this is a, probably a little bit harder than I would expect only because maybe in 45 minutes it's okay, but it's still a little bit harder than I would expect. Uh, in competitive, I guess it's okay it is what it is <laughs> um yeah and especially for this contest i thought that um i thought that this was uh as contest e as it goes um uh, but yeah yep q2 making file names unique given an array of string names oh this one yeah so this one i to be honest um i looked at it i was like okay that looks straightforward um, I made a really silly mistake in that I didn't look at the the end constraint or the constraint n. Um, so I actually just do it, did it naively, and then I got a time limit exceeded, which cost me five minutes. Um, but okay. not a big deal for this form uh, contest because the rest of the contest was a little bit slow anyway. looking for But yeah, so basically what I'm doing now is I was just like, oh, yeah, let's do the naive algorithm. That seems pretty straightforward. Um, some of this is because usually for Q2 on a lead code, uh, this is this is straightforward and you just don't have to think about it and it is usually right. Um, but I had a, I just had a blind spot. There's no way around it. I didn't think about doing this and then I was like, okay, let's just do it with a, you know, Yeah, a little bit in indecision on the implementation, but that's pretty much what I do. This is incorrect. It gets time limit exceeded. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh. Uh, and then I looked at N, which you'll see in a second. But this is just implementing. What a 
little bit slow actually to be honest but So I ran it, it looks okay, let's submit it. Um, but this time I got time limit exceeded, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh -oh. Huh. oh no, time limit exceeded, so I was like, oh. Well, uh, I mean, the first thing I did was I looked at N, and I was like, oh yeah, of course it'll be time to exceed it. So basically what I did after that was just create a lookup table uh, that allowed me to uh, remember the last number for a given name. That is surprising. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was checking okay. for there. I was just like, oh god, let's just have a lookup table. What are you doing? Don't really, I'm also just double checking on the constraints so that I can make sure that I am able to do what I wanted to do. Yeah, and here I'm just trying to make sure that my I'm not getting off by ones and stuff like that. A little bit slow right now because um, I, I think I was just indecisive as to what I wanted. I wasn't sure that this would be good enough, but <clears throat> yeah, I ran the code. I was like, this isn't right. It was a little bit sad. But. But basically, I just have a typo on line seven. Uh, that took a long time to catch. Uh, Uh, just one of those days. Uh, this was a bit of a hard contest for me. And I was like, there's no even, S is not even in there, and somehow it never ran. So th there was must be other issues. Hmm. 
you know, when nothing print, I was looking up. And to be honest, I think it was just that something auto com like the, uh, the auto complete on the on the thing on the editor uh, got me. Like I don't think that was me, but I maybe I'm wrong. Because why would I do that? Uh, and then I was like, oh, that's just not in there. I won the code. It it looked like it finished pretty fast. So I was like, okay, the answer looks good. Uh, let's just submit. Spent about two minutes.